everybody and welcome back to the Fox Shop. We, uh, I've had several requests from people wanting to know how you get the adhesive off the back of your door trim or the, the these body trim moldings. Not just on my YouTube channel but also on Facebook and it's very very easy. If you don't really care about the paint on your truck like when I redid my truck because I knew I was going to repaint it, all I did was use a putty knife like this and a hammer and get that back behind your trim you gotta be a little bit careful when you get started because there's a metal piece that runs back behind there, but I didn't have any problem. Just break that through. Like that. Once you get it started, you just keep going like that all the way down. So you get your trim off. Just gotta keep doing this until you get it all off. And then I'll bring you back in and I'll uh, show you how you get that adhesive off real easily. Okay, I got all the I got the, the trim off. <clears throat> I'm just gonna wipe this down. It's still actually needs to be dried off as a smidge, but anyway. What I'm using is a, uh, it's a 3M adhesive eraser wheel, and it just, it looks like that, fits in a drill. You can get these for, they're somewhere around $30, got it off of Amazon, I think it was almost $50 when I got it, but I just looked it up, and um, somewhere around $30. Anyway, all you do is you just run this over the, where your adhesive was, and it will take it right off. Now to get the... To get these off, your moldings off, if you're just wanting to take them off, you don't, probably don't want to use a putty knife because you might scratch your paint up under there. Um, a lot of people suggest using like fishing line and get it started over on one end and you just fish saw it back and forth and that'll pull out from underneath there and you won't damage your paint that way. But anyway, with this eraser wheel, just put it on the, where your adhesive was and go at it. So anyway, that'll give you some kind of an idea. I got some staining or maybe it's probably gonna scratch it. I don't know if you can see that or not. I've got, uh, let's see what I got here. Where I did that. It takes a little while. We might need a couple batteries. And it looks like I might have a little staining. I can't get that line off, so I don't know what that is exactly. It will come off. Probably get some rubbing compound or something on that and I'll get it off. Now they say this won't burn through your uh, clear coat and I've tried it pretty thoroughly and I don't think, unless you just hold it there for about an hour, I don't think you're going to burn through your clear coat. But uh, it works really good. It, it takes a little bit of time. This is just glass cleaner and it's almost taking that stuff off. Get it off with your fingernail so that I don't know what that is for sure. So anyway, that is how I removed all of the, the molding on my green and white truck before I redid it. Um, just drill and a 3M eraser wheel, and it takes it right off. It's not a lot of work. You might get a few couple batteries or more. But you don't have to worry about damaging your clear coat. Trust me, I did a test spot when I did my truck and did if you hold it on there a long, long time maybe, but anyway. Those two little lines that I showed you earlier, probably with some wax and grease remover, they'll come off. That glass cleaner I had almost took it off. So, not a big deal. The hard part is getting that adhesive off, and I recommend one of these. And I'll give the link to this wheel in the descriptions below. So, don't forget to subscribe, and hit that thumbs up button, leave comments, ask questions, 
and come back for more. Also, follow me on Twitter at The Fox Shop. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.